Hey there folks, today we're talking MIDI Remote Manager in Cubase 12 and 13 and how I've used it to set up my FCB 1010 MIDI foot controller to control the transport functions in Cubase. In fact, you can use the MIDI Remote Manager to set up pretty much any MIDI device to control various functions in Cubase, but today we'll be using the FCB 1010 as our working example. Here we are in the MIDI Remote Manager in Cubase in the bottom pane here. And as you can see, I've effectively replicated the layout of the FCB 1010 foot controller with its 10 foot switches and its two expression pedals. And then I've programmed them all for the following functions. Foot switch one is for rewind, foot switch two is forward, foot switch three is stop, foot switch four is play, foot switch five is record, foot switches six and seven move up and down between previous and next tracks, switches eight and nine are for mute and solo of the selected tracks, and foot switch ten applies the activate cycle function. I've then set up the two expression pedals so that the left expression pedal controls the volume for a selected track and the right expression pedal controls the total output volume, i.e. the volume from the main stereo out. This now gives me hands-free control of all the transport functions within Cubase as well as various other functions such as selecting tracks, mute, solo and adjusting volumes. But how did I set all this up? Well, let me show you. First thing we need to do is to prep the FCB 1010 to send out the right messages. For the 10 foot switches, we'll be using note values, and for the expression pedals, we'll be using CC values. Here I'm using the FCB 1010 Manager from Mountain Utilities. There are other software editors out there, and indeed I have a video on my channel covering all of those, and I'll leave a link in the description down below. First of all, choose an empty bank on the FCB 1010. I'm using bank eight here, as because the first seven banks I've already got programmed to control various other equipment in my studio. For each foot switch, you need to set a separate note value. I've got mine set as notes 1 to 10, corresponding with the foot switches 1 to 10. And you can see that in the spreadsheet view here in the FCB 1010 manager. And then in the global settings, you need to set the MIDI channel for note values to a MIDI channel that isn't being used by any other equipment in your studio. For example, here I've set note values to MIDI channel 7 in my case. Then you need to program the expression pedals for each of the 10 available presets with their CC values. It's important here to use CC values that don't conflict with any other CC values that you may be using on other equipment. For example, I've chosen CC numbers 40 and 41 here as they are reserved CC numbers on my MODX and aren't actually being used to control anything. If, for example, I was to set it to CC95, then when I tried to trigger Cubase with the FCB 1010, it'll also operate the super knob on my Yamaha MODX, and I don't want it to do that. So you can see in the spreadsheet view down here, I've got expression pedal A set to CC40, expression pedal B set to CC41, and the minimum and maximum levels for each expression pedal are 0 to 127. So now that we've got all the relevant data programmed in the FCB 1010 manager, we just need to send that data to the FCB 1010. I'll assume that you know how to do this, but if you don't, again, there is another video on my channel all about using software editors for the FCB 1010, and I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Now we can go into Cubase and start configuring the functions that we want the FCB 1010 to operate. First, let's go to the MIDI remote, which you can find either on the tab on the bottom of this pane, or if you go up to Studio, you can find it in the drop-down menu there. Then, click on the four square icon in the corner of the bottom pane, and click on the plus symbol, and enter in the relevant details. So here we'll choose Behringer, the model name will be FCB1010, the script creator is automatically populated and select your MIDI input and output ports. Now these will be the MIDI ports from whatever MIDI interface you're using to connect your FCB 1010 to your computer. In my case, 
it's my UMC 404 HD audio interface. Then click on Create MIDI Controller Surface. And now this will present you with a sort of grid where you can design your controller. First, I'm gonna drag this down to about here. And then I'm gonna go over here and click on Button on the left-hand side. Then click on Plus and it'll create a button over here where it says button properties. I'll change that to note, change the note value to one and change the channel to seven, which is the channel we set the FCB 1010 to earlier. Then if you click beside that button, you'll get another red square appear and you can click plus again and follow the same procedure, this time setting it as note two and again channel seven and then repeat this procedure for buttons three four and five setting them to note values three four and five once you've programmed the bottom five foot switches then click above them and you can now add in the five top foot switches following exactly the same procedure so add another five buttons along the top here but this time set the note values as six seven eight nine and ten so now we have our 10 foot switches and if I click on each of them you can see over on the right hand side we've got note value one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and they're all set to MIDI channel seven. Now we need to set up our expression pedals. So if we just click outside here to get the red box back and then go over here and we'll choose modulation. And then if we stretch this box, you'll see we can create a modulation pedal. And then if we click on plus, go over to modulation wheel properties and this time set the message to control change. We can leave the channel as one here as that's the channel that CC messages are being sent out on the FCB 1010. And then we enter our CC number, which for this first pedal will be 40 and everything else we can leave the same. Then if we go back to our grid, click outside, click on plus, we can set up another pedal, again, control change, but this time the CC value will be 41. Then what I've done is adjusted the size and position of the buttons and pedals to make it look a lot more like an FCB 1010. So I've got the bottom row five here as rectangular switches with the top five just offset to the right above them and then the two large expression pedals. This is easily done by just manipulating the size of these or moving them around. You can put them wherever you want them and have them whatever size you want. So once you've got your layout dialed in, go to the bottom right where it says go to mapping assistant. First of all, click on browse functions and then on the diagram here, click on each button and then go over to the right hand side and choose a function. So for example here, I'm gonna to go to transport and I'm gonna to go to rewind. This will show under the Cubase function up here, and then I can apply that mapping. So if I then go to button two, I can choose forward and apply that. Button three, I can choose stop and apply that. Button four, I can choose start and apply that. And button five, I can choose record and apply that. Then if I go to button six and choose selected track and then actions, I'll choose select previous track and apply the mapping. And then I'll go to button seven and do next track and apply the mapping. Then for button eight, I'm gonna go for mute and apply that. And for button nine, I'm gonna go for solo and apply that. And then for button 10, I'm going to go back to the transport section and do activate cycle and apply that. Then finally for the expression pedals, I'm going to choose the left expression pedal and I'm going to go to selected track and I'm going to choose the volume. And then for the right pedal, I'm going to go to the mix console output and go down and find volume. And then last of all on this page for the expression pedals, if I click down here, I'm going to set the value mode to scaled 
this stops the values from jumping between values when you use the pedals. And then we can close that down. And that's it, that's the finished article. Your FCB 1010 is now fully configured in Cubase to perform the functions that you can see on the screen. So that's not only a quick lesson on how to use the MIDI remote manager in Cubase 12 and 13, but also a fully worked through example of how to set up your FCB 1010 if you've got one to control various functions within Cubase. Effectively, this can turn the FCB 1010 into a possible loop station for using with Cubase, but that's for another video. In the meantime, if you've got any questions on anything in this video, then please feel free to leave them in the usual place down below, and I will do my best to get back to each and every one of you. Or indeed, any other comments are welcome, as all feedback is gratefully received. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful, and if you have, Please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell for future videos as it really does help me to grow the channel and is really, really appreciated. But for now, I've been Graham. Take care and catch you later. Mm -hmm.